Good morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. And I am Kim. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for returning. Um, Today is Sunday. What, Sunday the 20th, I think? Um, So it is, we're making some breakfast already. Um, That is my sawfish. We're gonna be doing um, ackee and sawfish with um, green plantain, fried green plantain. Um, my, my peas is cooking right now. As you can see, that's the sawfish. My peas is cooking. I didn't get to do it last night. I was working on a video that I wanted to uh, post, which I was able to post it. And then I was also working on another video to, for it to be posted today. Um, right when we're done eating breakfast, I can just go post it. I did not cut up my chicken last night, so I'm about to do that right now. It's currently in this sink right there. So we're going to cut her up. Uh, today we're making stew chicken with rice and peas. Um, and like I said, we're making uh, green plantain with ackee and sawfish. Um, that's Charlotte over there. Say hi, Charlotte. Say good morning. You need to go brush your teeth, okay? You need to go to my room and get your toothbrush and your toothpaste so I can give you breakfast. You have to brush your teeth first. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, about to cut up the chicken. I'm pretty sure y'all don't wanna watch me cut up the chicken because I'm sure y'all know how to do it. It's a whole chicken. I always buy a whole chicken. I get them from Sam's. It comes two in a package. And I think um, both of them were like maybe 18, about 18, 19 dollars for both. Um, yeah. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to put y'all here because I'm going to cut up this chicken real quick. But that's what I'm doing right now. Okay? I'm going to cut up my chicken. Let me make sure you can see very well. There we go. I just want to say thank you. My, uh, my steam, not steam fish, but my brown stew fish slash um escovich fish that video did so well so i bought some more fish i think i'm gonna do a, a thorough video like frying it what i put on it to cook it down so i want to do that because it seems like you guys love that video so i'm gonna uh, i bought some more fish i bought i had, was able to get like red snapper and a uh, yellowtail snapper so i have both in the freezer so i think next week probably during the week i might cook the fish and i'm gonna do a thorough video on how i do it ready to go brush your teeth come on let's go to the bathroom so guys i just changed the the water from the salt fish because i don't want it too salty so i just changed the water and i left a little bit in there because you don't want it to you don't want to boil all the salt out okay so I just changed the water and I just add some more water to the peas. Now I finally, I'm gonna cut up the chicken. I had to make Charlotte's breakfast, okay? So this is the whole chicken right here. You gotta cut her up. First thing I do, I cut the wing off. It's easier for me that way. And then how I see when I was growing up this is how my mom did it so I'm sure you can split the breasts down in the middle and do it that way as well but this is easier for me I know how to do this this way yeah and then you want to take all the fat off right yeah See? All that fat got to go. Look at that. Yep. 
So now I'm gonna split this part right here and just cut the rest just like that. See? Yeah. I'll cut the extra flat off again. Split the breasts straight down like that. There you go, two breasts. Bam. I'm gonna clean them up, don't worry. And then, I also take all the skin off the thighs. I don't want to cook with it. So, cut the rest of the thigh right here. I like to clean it up with all the fat, get all the fat off, but I'm going to do that. And then, I cut most of the fat off the leg as well. And when you when you're cleaning up this chicken, make sure you get this yellow stuff right here. Get that yellow stuff off of it. I hate seeing chicken like that. It's nasty. So always clean that up. Yeah. This part is the back, right? In a Jamaica, we call this chicken back. This is the back part of the chicken, all right? So, I'm not throwing it away. It's gonna be included in the food because I don't like to waste nothing, so we're gonna eat it. We love chicken back. Love, love, love chicken back. A long time, and I eat it. Sometime at the, um, at the international market, they have, oh my goodness, the chicken back they carry. Oh, it's so pretty. Yep, so pretty. So I'm cleaning this part up. I'm going to cut the fat off of here. Yep. The knife is so sharp. Yep, so that's another piece. That's going in there too. Always clean up your chicken, y'all. Clean it up, please. Clean up your chicken. All that stuff needs to come out. Usually, when I'm cooking Sunday dinner, I always season my meat Saturday evening. But like I said, I was kind of busy yesterday and I didn't get to, when I took, when I remembered to take the chicken out, you know, I didn't, it was late last night, so I wasn't able to do it, but that's okay. All right. I'm gonna do that. So now we're gonna cut this part, right? See? You see in here? You got to get that out. All that got to come out. All of it. And if you can't get it out with a knife, that's when you use your fingers. Right? And get it out. You can use your... To scrape that stuff out. Because it has to come out. You cannot cook like that. I know some people that are doing stew chicken... The best way, the easiest way to have uh, minimal uh, cleanup, you just get some a tray of um, thighs and a tray of drumstick. 
and that's easy easy for most people to just go ahead and do it but i'm not a big fan of um uh dark meat i eat it i don't like thighs i eat the leg but i'm not a big fan of dark meat i like the wing and the breast that's the part i like but like i said um most people just get the um the drumstick and the and the thighs Sometimes I get the drumsticks. Like when I'm making curry chicken or something like that, and I don't want to use the whole chicken, I get a tray of leg, and then I get a tray of wing, like the six pack, the six or the five pack, and I'll just chop that up and um, do the curry chicken that way. Yep. Clean up the chicken, guys. Clean it up. I should say, Ladies and gentlemen, clean up your chicken. Alright, let's clean. Get in there. This part is bony, so I'm gonna throw that away. Alright, now we have this. So that's one way you can do it to get the fat off, and then I'm gonna split it right here, okay? Where the soft bony part is. Oh, well, maybe you can see it. Yep, just like that. And clean up the fat, take the fat off. All that stuff got to go. The breast, the not the breast, but the thigh is already juicy. Take all the fat off, you don't need that. What? Leave that out, camera. I'm gonna use it. That's why I left it there. No, it's fine. Just leave it like that. Right. Now we just gotta get this excess fat off the leg. So see, and you can always get this off. It just takes time. Scrape that thing off. I don't. That's one thing I'm telling you. I don't like seeing, especially when you fry chicken as well. I don't like that stuff because it's more noticeable too when you fry chicken. I just think it's just to me. It, tell, it just shows that you didn't clean up the chicken properly. That yellow stuff needs to come off the leg or you just lazy and don't want to do it. I don't like it. That's like a thing for me. I don't like that. Clean up your chicken. So now we're gonna wash the chicken off. Right. Oh, actually, I need to split the breast in two or in three. Depends on how big they are. This part right here, this part of the breast, my favorite. Yeah, as you, as you can see, we have fat on here, so we need to clean that up. Trust me, can be done. It just takes time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Just like that. And then it's always some stuff like right here. So make sure you get that off too. All right. So this one is pretty much clean. Ooh, 
one. The knife is so sharp, I cut myself. Damn it. trying to be careful. It was an accident, baby. Charlotte, why don't she have four pins, color pins in her basket or in her bucket? So now I'm gonna um dry the wings or dry the chicken. Yeah. So this, in case you don't know how to fold the wing, this is how you do it. So you see, like that, and you cross it on the leg, just like it would cross your leg. You're nothing special to it. All right. We still have some stuff to clean up on the wing, so that's all right. So now, excuse you, I hope you're covering your mouth. Okay, we just you know make sure they're low, take most of the water off of them. So there we are our chicken is our whole chicken is cut up and ready to be seasoned let me wash my hands clean up the sink again we just cook chicken all right so our saltfish should be good should be cooked should have been cooked by now Open up this. So we're using this Aki double juice. So I'm gonna open it up and let it boil off for a little bit. Add a little bit of salt in the water to cook it. Not even cook it, but just to let it boil out for a little bit. Add a little bit of salt to the water. Okay, now the P 
cheese pot made some water, so I'm gonna add that to it. I'm gonna check to see if the peas is cooked. Oh yeah, it's good. Matter of fact, let me add. And this, this is the coconut milk I'm using. Clever, I think it says. Yeah, I'm using this coconut milk. I actually like this one. I like this one for the pea to cook the peas, and then I like the goya to make the porridge. I don't know why. This one is good with the porridge too, but the goya just give it a very, you can taste the coconut. That's what I'm trying to say. So, that's it. There you go. In the water. There you go. Come on with me. I'll show y'all. I'm about to season this meat. This is the garlic powder. I got it from Walmart. Work. That's my black pepper. This is my Maggie All Purpose. That's my Maggie Chicken. I'll use that. I always use the same seasoning, so unless I'm cooking like steak or something, then I'll change it. Now, definitely cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. We love cayenne pepper over here or in this house. I do. All right. So now we're going to put the stuff. So I was talking to someone, right? And they said that um, <coughs> I've never put like ginger in my chicken when I'm cooking it, but I'm going to try it today. We were, we were we were having a conversation and they were like oh yeah i put ginger on everything i'm like not me so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add some ginger on this chicken so now we're gonna add our browning now like i said some people add this while the chicken is cooking down but i like to add it before your preference however you do it that is okay too either way browning is gonna be on there it's gonna be on the chicken either way you add it before or after the chicken is gonna be brown period okay yeah Got this, y'all. I use this as well. Complete seasoning. But there. Okay. So now I'm going to get my gloves or a glove to rub it up because I want the stuff to get on my fingers and in my nails. Cover your mouth, please. You know, I'm going to have to leave that to the expert. 
court could decide if this was the right thing? Because I don't know whether justice part of this is an investigation. Let's say, for instance, they were very close to an indictment. Okay. Everything together. Show y'all how she looks. There you go. Yep. We rub everything in. Okay. There we go. So, yeah. That's it. We're going to cover her up. Let her sit for a little bit. Now, see? Throw this glove away. The green planting, we're going to cut these up. We're going to fry them. Okay, guys, so now that's the my onion green pepper yellow pepper and tomatoes and orange peppers they're i'm gonna wait for them to saute then i'm gonna add the salt fish and i'm gonna add the ashy so that's my uh fried um green plantain and this is how i do it so i basically just get like a bottle i fry them first don't fry them all the way and then you just basically press them down and refry them again and when i do that i add a little bit of salt on it yep let me turn, turn the stove back up. So that's what you're going to do. All right. <coughs> now you get to learn camera. You see how I'm doing it? So you just have to make sure you get a bottle like this. And use the bottle. And then I'm going to clean this up. We're gonna wait for this to saute. You basically gonna just fry them till they get like crispy or to your liking. Like this one, I can take that one out. And then I'm gonna add another one. Yeah, Charlotte? What is it? She did, and she got milk. She said she wanted one. Because I did ask her. Okay. Well, she get, I gave her one slice. And then she she didn't eat all of it. And she, then she said she wanted to share with Capri. So I gave Capri some of it. Oh, that's all that matters? So now, here go our ackee and sawfish. Yep, I'm gonna let her cook down for a little bit. And then I'm gonna add my black pepper, cayenne pepper, and I think a little touch of garlic maybe. But yep, that's what she looks like. Yes, look how pretty she is. So beautiful. <laughs> yes, that's my peas. I'm gonna wash the rice now to add it in there. Yep. And as you can see, that's the fried plantain, green fried plantain. Um, that's ready. And then I made some yam over here so I can have that as well. Hi, that's my um, ackee and saltfish. Yep. Looks so good. And this is my uh, fried plantain. Then this is my peas. Okay. I need to add some garlic. 
my scotch bonnet pepper, scallion, and thyme. Then I'm gonna wash the rice. Y'all can take that in, okay? Take that in. Mm-hmm. We get the scallion. That's my um, seasoned um, rice and peas pot. I just add my scallion, my thyme, my scotch bonnet pepper, and two cloves of um, garlic. Now I'm going to wash my rice, right? Yeah, breakfast is not done because I'm doing two things. Well, three things. Frying the green plantain, and I'm also um, cooking down the Akian sausage and cooking the peas at the same time. So that's why breakfast is not done. But we're in the kitchen, we've got a multitask because we have a lot of stuff to do, okay? And also cleaning at the same time. Yeah. Is it all right? It's your rice. So I wash my rice at least three or four times. Mm. I've got a big container. A bigger container. Look at that. Look at that water. That's why you have to wash it. Yeah. And the football match is about to start. Um, I guess it's Qatar and Ecuador playing the opening match. Oh, that's Ecuador, right? In the yellow? Get off that bed, no playing. Your Highness is the Excellency. Probably good too. Good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a lot of people traveling for the game. <laughs> Die hard fans, man. I know, babe. Is Naja was there? <laughs> Fly to Dubai. That that's that's like man. Especially like people who live in Bahrain definitely gonna go to that because it's not far. Well, Dubai driving is like six hours. From Bahrain. All right, rice is done. We need to show food for y'all. Wow. 
What? It's not yours, is it? Yeah, it's not yours. Yeah, it's not yours. Is it? Why are you arguing about something that is, it don't even belong to either one of you guys? I bought it for Capri. You watching your tablet. How many things you want to play with at once? Okay, I just add the rice in the rice and peas and I did turn my stove down. As you can see, I turned it down, way, way down. Oh, you can barely see it, but it's turned down. Now, I'm um, gonna watch it. And after I wash it, once the water dry down out of it, I'm gonna get my um, shrink wrap and then I'm gonna put the bag inside of it, okay? Yep, I always like to let my rice steam with the bag because it cook it cooks it real good. Okay, yeah. Now I'm about to go eat my breakfast and drink my coffee. Yeah, but that's my rice. She is cooking. Yes, she's cooking. Mhm. Mm I think the next time I make this, I'm gonna do a detailed video on how from start to finish to make rice and peas. Cause a lot of people, I'm sure a lot of people would like to know, especially like non-Jamaican person would like to know how to do it. Cause trust me, a lot of people love our food. Okay? I see them go order it every day. They love our food. So why not share, share what I know. But there you go. It's cooking, it's cooking, it's bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. I might add a little bit more water to it. Yeah. Hey guys, so now I am frying the chicken because we're gonna have stew chicken. So with stew chicken, you can cook it two ways. You can um, ch chop it up, chop up your chicken and just cook it down or you can Split your whole chicken up, cut the leg, the wing, the breast, the thigh, and fry that and then cook it down. So that's the way I'm doing it. As you can see, uh, that's the leg right there, that's the thigh, that's the wing. Ooh, it just popped up. Okay, so this is the way I'm cooking it today. Let me show y'all my rice. That's my rice. Nice. Yeah. Very, very chilly. Mm -hmm. Tell you, if you don't try this with the bag, please do. Okay? It works. Alright, but yeah, that's the chicken right now. It's fine. Um, that's the rest of it. 
right there. I'm cleaning up the the oil off the stove because as you can see, it's popping up. I'm gonna have to wash all of this when I'm done. All of it has to be clean. Yeah. I don't like to cook with a dirty kitchen. I like my kitchen. And then sometime when I'm cleaning the grill, while the stove is on, the shit burn my hand, man. It burn my hand, so I have to be careful. All right, yeah. So when the chicken is done frying, I'll, I'll show you guys um, how I cook it down. Okay, but yep, our chicken is frying. It's almost done. And right now it is 1.11. So we're making good time. All right? All right. Okay, it's my chicken. It just got done. So now I'm going to add a little bit of this oil that it fried in. And then I'm going to add some water to it so it can cook. Okay? So right now, I'm also cutting up my onion my green pepper and my orange and red pepper and some garlic cloves i'm gonna do some garlic and um of course scallion and thyme and then we're gonna let this simmer down for a little bit okay but yeah i'm gonna add the oil a little bit of the oil and water in here so we can okay, this is our veggies i'm gonna put them in right now and at the same time, I'm going to add our sauce. Beginning something skillier and time. Wash these off. I know. Turn the stove down. Enough spice because I do have a pepper. Put this piece in there. So guys, I'm going to close this video off. My kids um, just got done eating their dinner. Um, Charlotte, of course, is still sitting at the table finishing hers um i'll insert a clip of the how i plate the food and what it looks like when it was done but yeah um thanks for watching the video don't forget to like share and subscribe please watch the entire video thank you bye happy sunday again bye bye capri say bye bye say bye bye say bye bye say bye bye